You cannot stop while you could be working, while you could be further along the road, less travel. You sitting there contemplating, like you sitting there moaning about it. You sitting there complaining about it. You got to work. Get your life in your hands, like flat out. If you go be a boss, take responsibility. It's time to take ownership. Take ownership of your life. Take ownership of your time. Take ownership of your day. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Ain't no such thing as tomorrow. We only got today. And we want to make a conscious, deliberate, determined effort to start living life with a sense of urgency and using what we've got. Using ourselves up. Sharing what we brought into the universe to share. Because if we don't, nobody else will. Stop wasting valuable time. If we begin to live our lives as if each day were our last, our lives will take on a whole new meaning. No more dreaming. Dreaming is over. I need specifics. What are you doing on Monday? What are you doing on Tuesday? What are you doing on Wednesday? You need to be very specific. It's time to put your pieces together of your puzzle. When you die, when life is over for you, I don't want you to have one idea left in you. I don't want one dream left in you. When you die, I want you to go for growth. Every CD that you were supposed to do, every book you were supposed to write, I want you to get everything out your system. You got to be very intentional and deliberate. The stuff that you're dreaming about, the stuff that you want to happen, it's not going to happen by osmosis. Like, you got to get up and you got to go after it. And what the devil wants you to do, what the enemy wants you to do is get distracted and focus on stuff you shouldn't be focusing on. He wants you to stay in bed. What he would love to do is for you to waste these next two to three weeks. You need to be in a big damn hurry. Time is running out on you. There's 86,400 seconds in a day. The separator between me and you and people that win and lose is what we do with those seconds. And you're too slow. You're too casual. You think too much. You need to get in a hurry because there's an end of your life and it's coming sooner than you think. It goes by in a flicker and at some point it's going to be over. People spend time waiting for when the time is going to be right. They're waiting for the pieces to fall into place. They're waiting for the planets to align. They're waiting for everything to be all set. It's not going to happen. You want to know when the time is right? The time is right now. All you have to do to kill procrastination is just start. You just go. Just go. And procrastination dies. Just don't allow it. Stop. And do what you need to do. So don't wonder how you overcome procrastination. It's easy. All you do to overcome procrastination is go. Go through the motions. Get it done. So what are you doing with your time? Are you doing something productive? Are you moving towards a goal? Making yourself better? Or are you letting time slip by? Wasted. I hate it when I see young people wasting their time. Wasting all this technology got. Just book. Just sitting around in this world that's been created for you. That everything is instant. You all have stuff at your fingertips that can make you great. But if you can combine your technology with your parents and your grandparents work ethic you could be rich man but you cannot erase the work ethic part there is no getting around ain't no elevator to the top you got to take the stands the elevator don't go to the top man not in the world of success you got to take the stands y'all got to start getting gritty man you got to develop some dog in you. That idea isn't going to execute itself. That book isn't going to write itself. Those weights out in the gym, they aren't going to move themselves. You have to do it. And you have to do it now. Don't wait anymore. Don't think anymore. Don't plan anymore. Don't contemplate anymore. Don't make any more excuses or justifications. Don't rationalize anything else. No. Take the risk. Take the gamble. Take the first step. Take action now. You got to take that thing out. Like, you got to take the breath out. So some of y'all are afraid of math. Go after it. Go get it. Don't run from it no more. Go get it. You go in there and go get that grade. You go in there and get that information so you can pass that class. 
You gotta go get it. See, if you wanna win, folks, you gotta, you gotta stand up and you gotta say, I'm so sick and tired of being average and ordinary. I'm so sick and tired of telling myself and telling my wife and telling my mama and telling everybody, I'm gonna win. I found it this time. Watch my smoke. Say, it's possible. Just say that every day to yourself. It's possible. And I'm saying that if you know anybody that had some goal, some dream, something they wanted to do, and they did it, then I'm saying that you know in your heart that if someone has done it, then you can do it. It's possible. And that if someone can make their dream become a reality, that it's, it's possible that you can make your dream become a reality. You might not have the money. You might not have the education. You might not have the support or the resources you need. When you got an idea, you want to move on. You ain't going to be here forever. And if you ain't careful, you're going to get to the end of your life and still be saying that you're going to do it tomorrow. There is no tomorrow. From this day forward, I want you to start living your life as tomorrow wasn't going to come. And that right here, right now, is the only time you can act. Not tomorrow, not next week, but right here, right now. Action is the only cure for procrastination. You need to do it now. Don't wait. Don't make excuses. Don't come up with reasons why you can't and focus on all the that might happen if things go wrong. Just get up, get out, and get sh done. You get one shot, one. Every time you find yourself putting things off, remind yourself that there is no tomorrow. There is only today for you to act. Do it, do it now, act. And time waits for no man. Life goes by, and it goes by quick. Don't waste those years. Don't waste them. Live them. I want you to be terrified of sitting on the sidelines and doing nothing. Waking up in six days or six weeks or six years or 60 years and being no closer to your goal. You've made no progress. That is the nightmare. That is what you really need to be afraid of being stagnant. So get up and go. How many of you have found out what is not what is that? See, God gives us a lot of things in us. But it's a couple of things to us. At the time, some people get lost. That's the one thing, no matter if I look at your watch, I look at my watch, I look at your clock, I look at my clock, I look at your phone, I look at my phone. Time so that's no. So the question is, how much time you want this? It's all about taking a step in anything that doesn't reflect where I'm trying to go. That's what you got to put in your head. Every decision you make. Does this decision influence where I'm ultimately trying to go? Because if it does, you got to get rid of it. Don't realize what you got to give up. It's what I'm praying. What sacrifice you want to make. It's what I'm praying. If you had one shot or one opportunity to seize everything you ever wanted in one moment, would you capture it? Or just let it slip? Where is the wealthiest place in the world? It's not China, it's not Dubai, it's the graveyard. There you'll find potential never realized. There you'll find books never written. There you'll find abilities and skills and talents and gifts that the world never had an exposure to. A lot of people die full, full of their dreams, full of talent, full of ideas, full of skills, full of intelligence and abilities that they never reached for, they never tapped, they never got into, they never used it. Because 
They were scared to take a risk. Scared like you. But you want to know something else? You're not in a graveyard yet. It is not the things we do in life that we regret on our deathbed. It is the things we do not. I do not regret when I step up and I fail. What I regret is not taking action at all. We get one opportunity in life, one chance in life to do whatever you're going to do. And every passing moment, we will never get back again. Do it now or forever hold your peace. Make decisions today where today will be the defining moment for your future. The decisions you make today will determine your tomorrow. Let's go! Make sure something tonight and take you away from this moment, man. Because it's all we got. That's what y'all don't realize most of the time. We don't get this again. We don't get this again. The car runs too fast. That's why we got to savor these moments. Because they right now. Understand that you got an opportunity in front of you right now to do something. The day you in right now. That's the most important day that's going on. It's a great day. Every day you can get up and claim it's a great day. Because every day is a new day. Every moment is a new moment. So now you got to go out and show them that I'm a different creature. Now! See, this present moment is so precious. We have to be here. We have to be in it. It happened to everybody life has disappointed got pickers and valley you are gonna lose somebody you care about day that's a belly somebody go close that plant and you thought was going to stay open so you can retard the valley somebody gonna fire you far you just casuals that belly cause it's life you can stop thinking that your life's gonna be easy because I got new for aren't got those problem you think got to write now when do problems became problems my problems became a real problem when I lose my personality my problem became a real problem when I give up I just say forget it your problem because a real problem when you start feeling sorry for yourself and have a pity. Your problem became a real problem when you are get bitter and you start blaming everybody else for your unhappiness. That's the real problem guys and girls. Don't give. Oh man, if you it you get to the point where you kind of bury and you are gonna going I am facing a struggle at every turn don't give up you just lose some faith man faith don't make it easy faith make it possible we find unusual unkind stand to your relative our friends and associate associated we should be belief and confirm those who believe might differently but they we don't walk the talk we end up acting in the way far different for believing you shouldn't this incorset 